Hello, welcome to Science in a Cup. So today we are going to talk about flexure or nanomax stage, how you can make one. So normally in optics, we actually need this translational stage. Translational stages are used in interferometry, in lithography, and also in light coupling experiments, and also holography, microscopy, so on and on. Now, as the translational stage is more precise, its cost increases. So normally a micrometer precise translational stage XYZ may cost thousands of rupees but if it is in nanometer, if the precision is in nanometer level then it will cost lakhs of rupees. So for a lab, a uh, small lab, this uh, huge expenditure is a burden so we will try today like how using 3D printing we can make our own precise uh, nanometer level uh, translational stage. So if we go to the Thorlab website, uh, if you see this nanomax stages, you will find a word called flexure. So we'll first discuss uh, what is flexure or compliant mechanism and then we'll see how we can design our own nanomax stages in SOLIDWORKS and then finally print it using a 3D printer. For understanding what is a flexure or a compliant mechanism, let us see these two objects to understand better. So this is actually a door hinge. Right, so you can see that here are joints which, uh, which are interconnected such that this movement happens. But what if I say that um, if I want to make with a single piece body, here it is two pieces body which are interlocked together. You might be thinking like uh, it is impossible, how can a single piece body move or bend? But in our common household items, you have seen this thing right? So this joint is actually a single piece, it is in, made by injection molding, but see it snaps very nicely and uh, it has two positions, one is this and another is this. So this is compliant mechanism or flexure. Let us see another example. In mechanical engineering, flexure or compliant mechanism achieves force or motion transmission through elastic body deformation, meaning a single body changes its shape with respect to force applied. Professor Larry Howell from Brigham Young University is known as the father of modern compliant mechanism. But compliant mechanism also existed in the past like this. You can refer this book from uh, Professor Larry Howell and get this book in libgen.i At first the hinge was designed like this so it moves great next to make it more flexible this design was chosen from there we went to this design so a good thing about this design is that if you squeeze the sides you see this thing moves so again if you squeeze the sides this thing moves now with a screw so the screw is going to push it and I don't and it will move So this was this mechanism. Now the advance, advancement of this mechanism again with a screw hole and all is this. If I squeeze. Finally, the design is like this. Finally, the design is like this. So, so
so if this part moves here this part actually moves in nanometer range now it is not visible in the camera but what we can do is that we can try to do the opposite if i move this will this move let us see so i will try to move this thing so i just twist Now I don't have an interferometer or a microscope right now immediately with me to measure the distance. But once in future if I have an interferometer, I'll just show like uh, how many nanometers this block is actually moving. So that is for today and thank you. If you like the video please subscribe.